They are one of the most iconic villains in the Digimon universe. Metal Seedramon, Pinokimon, Mugendramon and Piemon, known as the Dark Masters, are four ultimate level Digimon created by Apokalimon to help him conquer the digital world. They are his four riders of the apocalypse. In Digimon Adventure anime, we are introduced with the Dark Masters towards the end of the series as a prelude to the final boss Apokalimon. But as we learned from the Digimon Adventure film, which aired on TV one day before the first episode of the series, and from the novel that complements the story with more lore, the history of the Dark Masters is much more complex. If you want to learn more about all the lore from the adventure novel, I covered it in a video linked below. Before the events of the Digimon Adventure anime, a single Digi-Egg flew through the gate of the digital world into the human world in an unexpected isolated incident. The Digi-Egg hatched into Botamon, who evolved to Koromon, then Agumon, then Greymon. A young girl called Hikari Yagami caused this rapid evolution. She and her brother Taichi were the first humans Botamon came into contact with when he came to the human world. Homeostasis, a godlike entity that keeps the balance between good and evil in the digital world, didn't know what caused this rapid evolution. Homeostasis sent Parrotmon to retrieve Greymon from the human world and also scanned the data of Hikari and Taichi and all the humans who witnessed the battle between Greymon and Parrotmon. The humans it scanned would later become the eight chosen children. Four years passed since the battle of Greymon and Parrotmon in the human world, but several thousand years passed in the digital world. During that time, Digimon started forming special bonds with children from the human world, achieving rapid evolution through the special qualities of the child's heart. This gave them an advantage over other Digimon in the digital world. An opposing idea started taking form in the digital world, which rejected evolution and the need for change. It had a special grudge with the chosen children, because they made Digimon evolve faster and easier, while other Digimon had to struggle to evolve or even die without achieving evolution. When a Digimon dies, they are reborn in the Village of Beginnings. This anti-evolution idea took data from the Village of Beginnings and extracted regret from Digimon who died trying to evolve. It used that data to form its physical body, becoming Apokalimon. His existence caused a crisis in the digital world and distorted its fabric, causing time to flow faster than in the human world. Homeostasis called five children to the digital world to help with the Apokalimon crisis. These were the original five who traveled to the digital world before the eight we know from Digimon Adventure. Two of them were called Maki and Daiko, but we don't know the names of the other three. These five children and their Digimon fought Apokalimon, but the five of them were not enough to properly seal Apokalimon. Four of the five chosen children's Digimon evolved into the four holy beasts, given the role of protecting the digital world. The fifth sacrificed himself to give the others the power to evolve. The events concerning Apokalimon and the four holy beasts were recorded by the Digimon who lived at that time for future generations, and this record is known as the Digimon Book of Revelations. Apokalimon created the four dark masters to fight the four holy beasts. He planted his anti-evolution idea into the dark masters' minds through the wall of fire. For centuries in Digimon world time, the dark masters battled the four holy beasts. When their prospects of defeating the four holy beasts looked brighter, the Dark Masters dispatched one of their subordinates, Devimon, to File Island to start spreading darkness throughout the digital world. Because of this, equilibrium of the digital world lost its balance and the Digivices flew towards the human world to bring the chosen children. This is how Digimon Adventure began. The Dark Masters first sent their subordinates to defeat the chosen children instead of dealing with the children themselves. They use their TVs and telescopes to watch the children and people in the human world suffer, feeding on their pain. When the children left File Island to battle Vamdemon in the human world, the Dark Masters finally sealed the four holy beasts. Maybe the chosen children kept the Dark Masters from sealing the holy beasts earlier, so they did it when they left. The sealing was finally completed after many years, when the children and their Digimon were not in the digital world. Chinglongmon was the first one to be sealed by the hands of Piemon. Once the holy beasts were all sealed and out of the picture, the Dark Masters could start their plan. The evil plan of the Dark Masters was to build a spiral mountain, modeled after its description from the Book of Revelations. They used Nanomon to make a program that would build a mountain. The program would divide all the data of the digital world into the elements of city, forest, ocean and darkness, and reconstruct it into separate areas that would each be ruled by a Dark Master. Manipulated by Apokalimon, the Dark Masters didn't even realize that the creation of the Spiral Mountain would rob the digital world of the concept of evolution. The Dark Masters had to get rid of another major player in order to put their plan into motion, an agent of homeostasis, Genai. 
Piemon planted a black ball into young Genai's back, a mass of pure darkness. This black ball prevented Genai from moving around freely, so he couldn't interfere with their plans. Genai then hid at the bottom of Temp Lake to use it as a barrier that would prevent the black ball from activating. While inside that barrier, Genai came up with an idea to grow old and disable his body's regenerative function. This way he could prevent the black ball from enlarging. This black ball was the prototype of the Dark Seed that became part of the plot for Zero Two. Having completed the Spiral Mountain, each Dark Master controlled one of its areas. Metal Seedramon controlled the ocean, Pinokimon the forest, Mugendramon the city, and Piemon controlled the darkness. Each Dark Master is unique in their personality and has a different strategy on how to defeat the chosen children and see through their plan till the end. Metal Seedramon is a cyborg type sea serpent, entirely covered in ultra strong metal chrome digizoid, which repels all attacks. He has the fastest movements among aquatic Digimon and has been remodeled as an underwater intercept Digimon. Metal Seedramon has the data attribute and belongs to the Metal Empire and Deep Savers fields. His special attack is the Energy Cannon Ultimate Stream, launched from the barrel on the nose. Other attacks include Poseidon Divide, Crunch, and Hell Squeeze. Metal Seedramon's henchmen were called the Deep Savers and included Hangyomon and Anomalocarimon. Each Dark Master is evil in their own way and each has their own area unchallenged by others. Each fought their battles with the chosen children on their territory, which gave them the upper hand. But Metal Seedramon only occasionally took the battle underwater. Had he known the children would be his end, he could have stayed in the water, making it much harder for the heroes to find and defeat him. But he was probably the cockiest of the Dark Masters, which led to his demise. He's a fast Digimon, but he didn't rush in his pursuit to defeat the chosen children. He thought defeating them was not a matter of if, but when, so he wanted to enjoy it. Metal Seedramon is the first Dark Master the children faced at the time when they still didn't have the confidence that they could achieve such a feat as defeating the Dark Masters. But this is one of the brilliant messages of Digimon Adventure, to keep going in the face of adversity and help will come along the way. That help came to children in the form of Vamon, whose selfless sacrifice opened the door for new strength that the children found in seeking justice for their friend. Metal Seedramon was not only strong and cocky, but a big sadist. In the adventure novel, which complements the anime, he didn't just kill Vamon, he tortured him before delivering the finishing blow. He shot energy beams from his nostrils that left deep lacerations across Vamon's back. Then he used his chrome digizoid tail to dig into his fresh wounds. Having realized their Digimon have become stronger and anchored by the cruel killing of their friend who saved their lives, the children put the stop to the first Dark Master. With Vamon creating a diversion and sacrificing himself, War Greymon rammed through Metal Seedramon's body with his Brave Tornado attack, slashing him from the inside with his Dramon Killers. For Metal Seedramon's full evolution line, check out his video in the link below. Pinokimon is based on a very old and very popular fictional story about a wooden puppet who dreamt of becoming a real boy. If you compare the two, you will find some very strong similarities. Pinokimon, the Dark Master, didn't really have a life on a high note. He spent it looking for a friend, but in the end he learned the hard truth. All his life he was missing something, but never found out what that was. Pinokimon is obviously based on the story of Pinocchio, a fictional character from an Italian story for children named The Adventures of Pinocchio, published in 1883. Its story revolves around mischievous adventures of a puppet Pinocchio and his creator and father, a poor woodcarver named Geppetto. Unlike Pinokimon, Pinocchio's story has a happy ending. His biggest wish to become a real boy comes true in the end, and he is reunited with his father Geppetto. However, like many famous fairy tales for children, the story of Pinocchio was not supposed to have a happy ending. Before it was published as a book, Pinocchio was a series of episodes that ran in a magazine for children. In chapter 15, Pinocchio was to be hanged for his innumerable faults, but the uproar from readers convinced the author to continue his story. Most of you probably know one of his biggest trademarks, his nose growing when he lies, which happened to Pinocchio in one episode of Digimon Cross Wars. Pinocchio's name means pine eye in Italian, which means that he is definitely made of pine wood. Pinocchio was created from wood too, in this case from the cursed body of Juraimon. Although he looks like a puppet, he can act with his own will. 
He has a bad personality and is a compulsive liar. When a computer presents false information, it is believed that Pinokimon had something to do with it. Pinokimon has the virus attribute and belongs to the Wind Guardians and Jungle Troopers fields. His special attack is stuffing a revolver-type hammer with gunpowder and hitting it with the strongest technique called Bullet Hammer. Under this attack, the hammer's blow and the gunpowder's explosion eliminate all traces of the opponent. Other attacks include Drill Nose, Bigger Liar, Wires Choking, Wood Cross, Clean Up, Uso, and Flying Cross Cutter. Pinokimon's henchmen were called Wind Guardians, and they were many. They included Juraimon, Red Vegemon, Garbimon, Kiwimon, Blossomon, Mushroomon, with Floramon and Delomon, who actually ended up helping the chosen children. Pinokimon also turned his house into a giant puppet minion. As a dark master, Pinokimon was in charge of the forests. He acted very childishly and was selfish towards both enemies and allies, which he proved in multiple occasions when he destroyed many of his allies who were just looking for shelter. <laughs> Although very underrated out of the four Dark Masters, his story feels the most complex, as he was a very evil person who was looking for a true relationship. He also showed signs of emotional hurt when realizing he doesn't have any true friends. Out of all the chosen kids, he chose Takeru as his playmate. This was probably because he had sociopathic tendencies and troubles making social contacts, so he thought it would be the easiest to try to connect with the youngest in the group. Juraimon warned him about facing the chosen children and their Digimon. After witnessing an emotional moment between Yamato and Gabumon, Juraimon realized that Pinokimon doesn't have what it takes, and he warned him about it. But Pinokimon didn't want to admit that he has flaws, so he lost his life in his stubborn pursuit and never found out what it was that he was missing. He was defeated by Metal Garurumon. For Pinokimon's full evolution line, check out his video in the link below. Mugendramon is considered by many to be one of the most powerful Digimon in the digital world. His body is 100% made of metal, giving him an appearance of a menacing mechanized dragon. Unlike Piemon, who likes to show off, Mugendramon is more of a doer. He rushes into battle, impatient to finish off his opponent. Covered in heavy armor and weapons, with a dragon's head and sharp teeth and claws, Mugendramon is an iconic monster that lives on even after his defeat. Unbound by time and space, Mugendramon becomes even more frightening with each evolution. He is a pure mechanical Digimon, who possesses power that overwhelms other Digimon, and a brain that boasts incomparable processing power, but he does not possess any will of his own. Instead, a program with evil intentions was implanted into his Digi-Core, which is located in the center of his main body, and infinite power is supplied from the malice-filled Digi-Core. Mugendramon's name is based on the Japanese word Mugen, which means infinity. He was created by combining the parts of numerous cyborg-type Digimon. He has Megadramon's helmet and right claw, Metal Tyrannomon's jaw and chest circuits, Metal Mamemon's two psycho blasters, Metal Greymon's left claw and chest plates, and Andromon's shoulder pads as kneecaps. It is thought that the cyborg-type Digimon that were manufactured before Mugendramon were just prototypes for the completion of Mugendramon. Mugendramon also has a fully metallic dinosaur tail that looks like it's missing its tip. In different media, this tail can change form and perform certain functions, like extend and fire energy blasts. Even though Mugendramon's design ended up being iconic and a fan favorite, it took some time for the designers to get there, as his first iteration had a lighter body, both in color and details. This machine Digimon has the virus attribute and belongs to the Metal Empire field. His special attack is a Super Dreadnought class energy wave fired from his two cannons called Mugen Cannon. Other attacks include Booster Claw, launching his left hand's retractable Booster Claw on a cable, Mugen Hand, in which he shoots an energy blast from his right hand, Giga Destroyer and Catastrophe D. He also uses his right hand to crush his opponents. His followers were called Metal Empire, among whom were Warumon Zaemon, Megadramon, Gigadramon, 
me Kanarimon, Tankmon and Hagurumon, Mugindramon seemed impossible to defeat, as combined efforts of Angemon, Angevumon, Angemon and Bergemon weren't enough to stop him. Countless Numemon covered his body, but he wiped them all with a single blow. When Hikari collapsed in despair, Agumon felt a surge of power coming from light, and he warp evolved into Wargreymon. With his Draman killers, he sliced Mugendramon to pieces, finally stopping him. For Mugendramon's full evolution line, check out his video in the link below. Piemon is a terrifying clown with an eccentric and elusive appearance and many aces up his sleeve. He is a demon-type Digimon, a type that is typically shrouded in mystery. The true identity of demon-type Digimon is unknown, as they exist in a completely different dimension from devil-type or undead-type Digimon, yet his power is unparalleled and he is feared by many Digimon. Those who are unfortunate enough to face Piemon, especially if they are at a lower evolution stage, curse their fate. He is the kind of a villain that likes to put on a show while he demonstrates his power and end his opponents in style. It could even be argued that his end goal is not to kill his opponents, because if he did, he would have no victims or audience. This is evident when he almost kills War Greymon, but doesn't finish him off. Instead, he wants someone else from the Chosen Children to challenge him. He revels in the suffering of his prey, watching his minions carry out his evil deeds through his big telescope while he sips wine like a true sociopath. He even feeds on the scared faces of humans, watching the terrifying events that unfold from the human world. The thought of someone even stopping his plans never crosses his mind, despite the fact that the Chosen Children already defeated the other three Dark Masters before him. Piemon is inspired by the Joker from card games, whose design is reflected in his multicolored clothing. He also has card signs all over his body, like spades on the shoulders and hearts on the helmet and chest. The hilts of his four swords end with clubs, diamonds and hearts. His name is based on the French word Pierrot, which means a clown. His domain wastelands on top of the spiral mountain is set up like a circus tent with swings and curtains. There he welcomes his enemies, ready to give them a show. Piemon has the virus attribute and belongs to the Nightmare Soldiers field. His special attack is Trump Sword. In this attack, he teleports the four swords that pierce the magic box on his back to impale the enemy in an instant. The speed and surprise effect of this attack make it impossible for opponents to evade. Piemon's other attacks include Clown Trick, Mask Square, Ending Snipe, and Toy Wonderness. Piemon's henchmen were called Nightmare Soldiers, which included Lady Devimon and Evilmon, but also Skull Satamon and Marine Devimon in the adventure novel. As the last Dark Master, Piemon nearly succeeded in defeating the Chosen Children, as he turned every child who faced him into a keychain, as well as their Digimon. The only child left with the task of saving everyone was Takeru, who had to fight his crybaby nature and encourage himself to protect Hikari and save everyone else. Proving the strong bond with his human partner, Angemon evolved into Holy Angemon and defeated Piemon by consigning him to oblivion with Heaven's Gate, together with his henchman Evilmon. The four Dark Masters are based on the four riders of the Apocalypse. Just like they built the Spiral Mountain referencing the Book of Revelations, the four riders of the Apocalypse are also described in the Book of Revelations in the Bible. When the four Dark Masters fuse, they can evolve into Apocalymon. No one knows Apocalymon's true form, and he is an idea that took form of a Digimon when negative thoughts were amassed by the power of darkness. His main desire is to purge the chaotic digital world back into nothingness. Apocalymon is an ultimate level Digimon that has the unknown attribute and belongs to the Dark Area, Deep Savers, Nightmare Soldiers and Nature Spirits fields. 
His special attack is Darkness Zone, unleashing an endlessly expanding darkness that returns everything to the void. Those caught in this darkness lose all sense of direction, disappearing without a trace. Other attacks include Death Evolution, and Grand Death Big Bang. After the Chosen Children defeated the Dark Masters, they were faced with Apokalimon. He de-evolved their Digimon, destroyed their crests, and disassembled their data. But the Children learned that their traits live within them, and they don't need the physical crests to evolve. Together they destroy Apokalimon's claws and humanoid form, but he threatens to cause an explosion that would take down both the digital and the human world. Forming a shield with the light from their digivices, the Chosen Children stop the explosion and end Apokalimon, or at least his physical form. Peace is restored to the digital world, and the two worlds are back in sync. What were your impressions with the Dark Masters when you first watched the Digimon Adventure? Which one was your favorite? Tell me in the comments below. If you liked this video, click the like button so it reaches more Digimon fans. If you want to support me, you can do so on Patreon or the Buy Me Coffee website. The links are in the description below. Thank you for watching, stay tuned for more Digimon videos. P.S. Make sure to follow my community page on YouTube as I also post updates about upcoming videos there.